guys. And today is Christmas Day, and I just got a brand new marker maker. And today, we're going to be doing a review on the marker maker. And it does come with names that you can do with it, right here. You can name a marker. And it does come with the actual set and all the stuff. And everything that you see here, it comes with. But first, it comes in the box, and you have to attach the handle. Then, you have to put everything inside, and then you're pretty much done. So first, you're going to untouch the handle, and then you're going to take this front off the front. There are two circles, which are the test tubes, and then tweezers. I'm just going to put that there, and the tweezers can go right here next to it. Next, you can keep that closed, and then if you just hit these little black ones on the side, the bottom will pop out. And that's where you usually keep all your extra stuff and your color guide, which we're going to be using today. The color guide shows you how, how much colors you have to use and how much of them. For example, if we were going to make this, we would need three red and 12 blue, and that will come out that color. But we're not going to make that color because I already made that color. But we'll try and make a different color. And I'm going to set this all the way over here. Next, you can just do this. Now, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to move this. And I'm going to move it up here so you can actually see. And get this off the name tags. Okay. So, let's get making a marker. Oh. These test tubes, they just automatically snap in here. If you twist them, they snap. So, for example, it's kind of hard to do, but it's really easy once you get the hang of it. That one snapped in. You won't hear a snap, but, like, you'll know when it's locked that it's a snap. See how that's not locked? That's locked. Okay, so what color should we make? Let's make, let's make, hmm, shall we make, let's do this color. Wait, no. Yeah, let's do that color. Okay. So it needs 12 blue and 3 yellow. So let's take the blue and put it in the test tube all the way up to 12. I'm going to do that. 12 blue. And these are really hard to squeeze. And I think it was 12 blue and 3 yellow. You have 12 blue and 3 yellow. I gotta find it first. Okay. That was easy. And now we're going to take the tweezers. And we're going to take our marker barrel out of the thing and just basically place it in. Now watch how cool this is. Wait, it's coming, it's doing it, watch. Look how cool that is. That's my cat trying to get into the studio. So while we wait for this just to go all the way up and it all become white, I mean, and it all become the color, we're just going to set this aside behind the set camera. And these tweezers aside. Now we're going to get a marker barrel, which is this. And let's, hmm, should we make a crazy tip or a regular tip? Let's make a crazy tip. Let's do the straight one, kind of. 
see how it's straight like that. So all you're going to do is go to the smaller end of the marker barrel and just push it in like that, kind of. like So it won't be wobbly. It's kind of hard to do. There, I did it. So it's not wobbly. And don't worry, it won't stay like that. Then we're going to get the marker cap. And then we're going to get a plug for the top. If I can just get it out. Got one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's almost done. Actually, it is done. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the marker barrel. And we're going to put it where the tip is facing down. We're going to take the tweezers and put it in the marker barrel. You gotta push it down really good. And then we're gonna put this on top, but don't push it down, just place it in. Now, on your marker maker, there's a hole. You can just slide the marker in face down, make sure it's face down. Then we're gonna just take this and push it down until you, you hear one click. Like that. Now you have created a marker. It just needs a cap. And then you basically just put the cap on. And you have to make it sit this way. Face up. And that's what those little holes are for in the bottom. So they can face up. And now we're just going to make one more marker. What color should we make? Hmm, let's make this color. 12 yellow and 3 red. Wait, hold on. Okay, I just had to do something that took like an hour. Okay, so we're going to make just a regular blue one. So we're going to use this test too, just to use a regular blue one. So all we have to do is just add the blue all the way up to 15, which I'm doing right now. That's all the way up. And now we can take our marker barrel and simply just plop it in. Now, as I said before, this one's taking a long time to do it for some odd reason. So, don't worry, it will be back. And, oh, yeah, we have to get the marker barrel ready. We have to get this cat. Thingy, and then your cap. Sarah, and please hold on. Okay, back. Sorry. Okay, so this is ready. So I think we can do a regular tip. Yeah, let's do a regular tip. So basically, again, you're just going to push it in until it kind of fits and you can't push it in anymore. And then you can kind of like see it coming through the bottom of the marker barrel. And then we're gonna take the mark, oh, sorry. Now I'm gonna take it and put it in. And just keep pushing it down. Push it. Sorry, that commercial just popped in my head. Okay, and then the marker barrel. And it's not going to look like this because obviously that's way too big. So we're just going to put it in and wait for it. Click there. And see how it actually looks like a real marker now. That will get all the ink up there soon. Because see, if I just grab another tip for example. This part goes down into the ink. And it gets soaked up and goes all the way to the top. And when you run out of ink, that's when the marker's no good. So, you're just going to put the marker back on, and then put that in there. 